What's up, boys and girls? It's Minecraft Build Challenge. It's Minecraft Build Challenge number one. That's right. Can you see it? Oh, there it is. Number one. This is going to be your first Minecraft Big Time Build Challenge. And we're going to do it using the knowledge that we have gained in our unit over energy conversions. In this challenge, you are going to be making your very own system. And you're going to showcase that system in a three minute video that you are going to record and upload to this Flipgrid. Now, if you're a part of this challenge, you've been given the Flipgrid code and this is where you're going to start off. There's a directions section on the left. But then what you really need to pay attention to is this rubric right here. I've went on and clicked on it. Boop. And you're going to see it pop up right here. It tells you about the challenge and everything that you need to know, the content that it's connected to. It tells you about your game specifications and making sure that you do your original work, not somebody else's work, your original work. So it talks about registration and all that good stuff. But the big thing here is your video submission requirements. You're going to put a selfie image up there. You're going to use Flipgrid to screen record yourself in um, your world as you're walking through and you're showing us your creation and your super awesome, because I know it's going to be super awesome machine. All right. So then there's the judging. Your videos are going to be graded by your peers. And we are going to take the top three, top three builds that you guys have created. And from those three builds, we are going to judge them, look at them. And you are going to be invited to present your build at the FCPS STEM Fair. Also, runner-ups could even be featured on the technology newsletter. So how cool is that? So awesome. I'm excited you're with us and getting started with our first Minecraft Build Challenge. It's Minecraft Build Challenge. So let's look at our build challenge. Now again, with this link down here, you'll also see that this is the world template. Since you already have Minecraft downloaded on your computer, you're going to click this link and it will go ahead and it will download the world for you. And it's going to open your world up right on your computer. You can click always allow and then you're going to open this world. It's just going to go ahead and, and let you open it. So I hit that button and it is letting you open it. All right. Almost there. It's got signed in now that I've gotten the world. I'm just going to hit the button, create world, and it's going to create your world. Now I've already done this. And so I'm going to continue to play in that world and show you guys some things, kind of help you out as you're getting going. Now, since this is your first build challenge, we wanted to make it really easy for you to be able to navigate and kind of get some ideas. So again, we've been learning about energy conversions and with energy conversions you have learned all about that a machine or a system is going to be made up of different parts and you're going to have to have a source of power and you're going to have to make sure that all of your parts work together to perform a function so let's look at some example machines that are already out here Let's check this guy out over here and you can walk around and see that this is a waterfall cave. I can see that most of my power in Minecraft is actually going to come from something that we call redstone. Looks like this. If I was to put it out there, there you go. I run it. So this is actually a power and you can activate or turn this power source on using things like a lever. So I hit that and I can see, ah, I got some pistons up there at the top that are helping stop the water flow. So now there's a waterfall. I hit this, pistons push up, prevents the water from falling, and now I can get into the waterfall cave. So very fun and exciting. So again, system that work together to perform a function, letting me get in that waterfall cave. You can see some other fun stuff running down through here. That's where that power is going to run through, runs all the way up and around. And you can see this build was a little bit more involved than maybe a more smaller machine, like a light switch. Look at that. I'm just going to turn on the lamp. Flick it. Boop. There it is. Light on. 
So again, pretty simple machine here. Just flip the switch, turns the light right on. Let's look at one that's a little bit more complicated, a lock chest. Look behind to see how it works. Well, first off, let's do our little switch here and let's see what happens. All right, so that put the block back on it. So again, the block was on it. I hit this switch here. Now it's off. Now I can get in the chest. Ooh, look, some diamonds in the chest. So very fun and exciting. All right, so I got that. And if you look around the back again, this more complex machine, you got the blocks that are built. You can see the redstone power source being run, kind of like we've been learning with our wires. You can imagine that these are wires and these are transferring that energy from one location to the next. So that way it can power some of these other items like the piston. Now these actually look like they are, let's see if I hit this. Yep, it's gonna go out. Now I hit that, it comes back. So this must be a sticky piston. On the front of this piston must have something that's sticky. That way it brings the block back with it. And you'll see that that's some in the inventory as well. Oh, there's also dispensers. And again, you can just have a button instead of a lever. Push a button and look, diamonds just come out. Push another and another until there's no more diamonds left in there. The diamonds just gonna keep coming out. And again, they built this simple system. You can see the redstone that's changing or running the energy all the way through to the dispenser. And then it's going to push that out. Another example here, the secret bridge. So again, hit the lever and I got a secret bridge. Look at that. Oh, right across. Awesome. Look at me. It's going right across. Excellent. Now it's good. Boop. Now bridge back down, water back across secret bridge. This is actually where you're going to get your redstone materials. And in the description, you'll actually see that you have to just use the materials that are in this box up here. And so you'll see things like a daylight sensor, which I'm gonna talk about some of these as well that maybe you've not seen yet. A block of redstone, your water bucket. Um, you have redstone torch, which is another power source that will power that redstone that's going all the way through. Your piston, your sticky piston, dispensers, your stone bricks, glass, iron, chests, all that, and then a slate as well, so that you can write down a little description of your machine. So let's talk about some things real quick that's not seen yet. All right, so this is something that we've kind of already begun in our unit. Um, it's like a solar panel, but again, in Minecraft, as you can see, when we went through our supplies here, it's a daylight sensor. And when you get it, of course, you would just grab that daylight sensor and you could put it in your inventory and whichever ones that you want to use of course naturally you just put them in your inventory awesome that they're there and again as long as the sun is out then this is going to be powered just like a solar panel and you can see that this is all lit up this one's dark because it doesn't have power to it yet these wires will transfer that energy but i got to actually um, start the process by this pressure plate over there. But this one, it's already connected and running. So it's just going to stay lit the whole time. But if I wanted to turn this one on, I have to activate that power. And so for me, just with standing on the pressure plate, it's going to activate it. What in the world? Look at these guys. He just want to check out my machines. That's what's going on there. Now, this is a sticky piston. Or is this a regular piston? Let's check it out. Ah, it's just a regular piston. Once it pushed this um, block of sand out, it extended back or went back in. And now there's just a space there. And you can walk through. This is actually the sticky piston. And um, one of the things that we had talked about was the redstone torch. The redstone torch is acting much like the daylight over there. As long as this is here and on, it's going to keep this powered the whole time. And you can see that piston, which actually is going to be a sticky piston. How do I know? Because look, it sticks to this block and it's going to move the block back. So as long as I have a power source there, it's going to be running and I can pull that back. Awesome. So this is just, again, I wanted to give you guys some examples of some things um, that we had created for you all to kind of help give you an idea. And now you're going to build your machine. Again, 
you have this whole area to build. When you make your video, you may say, you know what? I'm going to build my machine over here and I'm going to incorporate this water somehow and build my machine way over here. Maybe you want to build your machine just on this platform and you're going to do a little bit smaller machine um, that's going to go through. But remember what we've learned in unit number one. If we're making a machine or as our vocabulary word told us, a system, we want that system to be made up of different parts. Each part needs to perform a function. And then at the end, you should be able to complete some sort of task or, or solve some sort of problem. Like we did when we were like, hey, I just want to turn the light on. Or something a little bit more complex like, hey, I want to dispense diamonds or get into a locked chest um, or get behind the waterfall um, to be able to get into the waterfall cave. So I want you to have fun with it. Be as creative as you want. You can make this super large scale because you're going to have several weeks to add um, different details to it, to create, to test it out, to see if you like it or not, because we want these builds to be your best work. And we want to give you time to feel like you can create and test and hypothesize and try things out. And if they don't work, be able to go back in and make changes. But above all else, we're wanting you guys to have fun, to show what you're learning in class with our unit one energy conversions in Amplify and be able to apply that in a fun and really cool way with Minecraft. So boys and girls, have fun building, and I can't wait to see all those awesome builds.